Hello everyone, I'm Tresser44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avedon. Last episode we made our way into the Fortress of Algrim Tor, talked with, Lord, talked with the Lord Costa Arl, and found out that his mage was actually the one who created the Shadow Beast. He went and ran off to his quarters in the south section of Algrim Tor, and we'll investigate in a bit. First though, I want to look around the rest of Algrim Tor. So this is going to be fun. That leads into the eastern part. Janelle looks at all the books with disgust. Records, laws, paperwork, forms. What is this, the Kavar? They have abandoned everything that makes our people great. Paperwork is still handy. Sometimes. It's good to have this information. Can't go out the east. Okay, then. Well, we were told that, uh, Moritz Cree is in the south, so let's take a look to the north. There are several merchants here, come to deliver goods to Agram Tor. They all get very silent when you approach. Some of them are Farlanders, others are from the Pact, selling goods to these dangerous outsiders. Either way, they have no reason to seek out the attention of Avedon. I'm not too surprised. Yeah, sure, two lockpicks. We get Elixir of Speed, Wand of Calling, and a Gold Bar. Mmm, give that wand to him. Gold Bars, those are valuable. Dagobear of the Forge. A blacksmith has been allowed to set up this forge just inside the gates of the fortress, right next to the main audience hall. The sound of hammers ringing against blades must be constantly audible within. The smith is a massive Camarion, over six feet tall and mighty of thew. When you greet him, he gives you a grim little salute with his hammer. He wears a pair of massive steel gauntlets with little spikes protruding from the fingers. I am Dagobar of the for of the Forge, honored to be the personal smith of Lord Karsta Arl. So I have been told to trade with you so that Avedon can see our skill in weaponcraft. Why is the Forge inside the fortress? Because when Lord Karsta Arl deals with the lords of the other steads, he wants them to hear me make blades. The blades that will be butchering their soldiers. It is an honor and a reminder. An honor for you? Of course. All know that my steelwork is the finest in Camaria. A reminder of what? The sound of my forge tells everyone we are not weaklings like the Tawan or the Kellum. We are not backward followers of the old ways like the Wildrealm. We are Camaria. We are born to kill. Dagobear of the Forge hammers at a steel blade as he talks to you. He never removes his steel spiked gauntlets. You're sure that their metal points have little bits of flesh stuck to them. Tell me about your crafts. I work steel. My blades keep their edge longer than any in our land. They last longer, they bend farther without breaking. Because I am commanded, I can sell them to you so you can see how mighty they are and can be afraid. What makes you think they're so good? I wield them myself. I am no coward smith that never leaves the forge. I test my weapons myself. Garsta Arl hates it, but he knows I insist. I only call a blade from my hand great when I have taken a life with it. Who? And, uh, who do you kill? Wretches, ogres, other Kemmer, Wildrilm raiders once they have entered my land in our fair, ga in our fair game. He gives you an ugly grin. Nothing that would break your laws, Avedon. And your spiked gauntlets? He flexes his fingers. My own invention, for me alone. Sometimes I kill with these alone, for my own amusement. Just, uh, never punch the palm of your hand, or you are going to end up screaming. Alright, let me see what you have. Breastplate of the Tower. 10% less time for abilities to recharge, and 5% chance to parry, and a lot of protection. That is very, very nice. I like it. Belt of Battle. Plus 5% to melee damage, plus 5% to curse resistance. Eh, not too bad. Sheltering Buckler. Less armor than we currently have, but... Bonus chance to evade attacks and to parry, and a bonus to healing. Well, she doesn't have a shield, so... It would be nice, though. And Nightblade Helm. Plus 9 armor and plus 5% melee damage. Also, pretty darn good. Honestly, though, I like the uh, breastplate of the tower a lot. 
I may have to consider getting it. We won't have... Well, I think we have another thing that can give a bonus to our endurance. Hmm. I'll think about it. I may buy it by the end of this. That's all I need. He nods and without another word returns to his work. Okay. Let's see. Anything in here? Nope. Just where they killed their animals and like... Nothing there. This is basically the wall outside the fortress. Nothing of real note here. Though we can look outside the windows and see nothing but moat. Alright. What happens if we try going to the north? What does this sign say? West Ring, Courtyard, Audience Hall. Okay, then. Oh, what did that say? Northwest Ring, Lady Anthony's Grove. Okay, so we've got a different ring in each area. Lady Anthony's Grove, interesting. A uh, little area where they've been practicing their games. Oh, so this is how it's create how this place is done. They've got rings all around this place. Nah, we'd probably be stealing from that one. Don't use it. Okay. Lady Antry's Grove. Ogrim Tor is five rings of stone arranged in a circle. This ring is full of thick vegetation. The plants are carefully tended, green, and amazingly thick and lush. Wildlife watches you from the undergrowth. Janelle looks around and sniffs the air. There is one of my kind here. A servant of nature, serving a place of darkness. You hear a soft, musical voice coming from deeper in the grove. Visitors, I am pleased. Come, I would meet you. Of course, as you wish. There is no reason we can't. Ah, you're in the middle. Janelle, please, be respectful. You are respectful of shamans, aren't you? There is a beautiful young woman walking through the grove that fills this ring of the fortress. She is a shaman, something you don't see frequently in Camaria. She turns to you and gives you a smile and a little bow. She is trying to seem harmless, but you can see the glint of steel in her eyes and sense the beast concealed in the thickets that surround you. Welcome, hand, to my grove. I am Lady Anchi, Lady of... Lady of Agram Tor. We have so few visitors that I wanted to make sure to see you in person. You are Lord Karsta Arl's wife. I have that honor. Of many possible partners, he chose me. He recognized my power, and he knows that the old ways still have their uses. Isn't he a bit older than you? Her eyes glint with a flicker of annoyance. My lord is more energetic than any four men half his age. You don't need to worry about the details of our partnership. And he uses your powers. Of course. Mages are useful, but more it's crees too arrogant to understand that there are things only shamans can do and only shamans can see. Why did he choose you? Because all rivals for his attention faded before my beauty and skill, or disappeared while walking in the woods. Disappeared? She smiles demurely. If one wishes to engage in power politics in Camaria, one should know to take proper precautions. If one does not, she smiles. Right. Lady Antje reclines on a marble bench and looks up at you. The air is cool and pleasant, and the sun shines down upon your skin. This ring should be tranquil, but you sense beasts constantly closing in on you from all sides. What else do you wish to speak of, Hand? I have met few shamans here. There are very few. In fact, the only other nearby is that useless old fool, Looney. Tired and preachy she is. Happily, we will not have to tolerate her for long. Why do you dislike her so? Because she doesn't understand that the only way the old ways can be allowed to exist is in the service of the new ways. It is the only way we can grow stronger. We keep what works and discard the rest. She looks at Janelle, who has flushed red. If it weren't for the pact... The Wield Realm would have submitted to our might long ago. Calm yourself, Janelle. Why won't she be around for long? Because she is old. Time always does us the kindness of erasing those with outdated ideas. 
but ideas can last surprisingly long. Tell me about this grove. She looks around and smiles. It is lovely, is it not? But it is not wasted, not merely a useless lovely thing like in Kilimdariel or the Wildrealm. She looks you in the eye. It is a center of power to defend us against those who would harm us. Then she smiles and lets out a sigh that is almost girlish. Uh, but it could be better. There is something that would make it perfect. What is this grove for? What is its purpose? It provides a link between me and the earth. I can see far, I can hear much. I can call servants and send them to do my bidding. Did you ever see the Shadow Beast from here? I could sense it. It was an abomination. When it was near, nature was close to me. I only knew of its presence by a blackness in my vision. I am glad that you and Moritz Cree destroyed it. What do you need? A powerful wood totem. It was once in one of the neglected stone circles. Then Moritz Cree took it into his tower. If you happened to find yourself in his tower, found the totem, and returned it to me, I would give you a reward worthy of my position. Why would Moritz Cree take it? His power is not our power. I think he thought that he could possess some of it, the might that is mine. He is foolish. A wooden totem. Don't we already have that one? Yes! It's Uni's totem. That's a wooden totem. Uni wants it as well. I think we'll probably get it for her. Interesting. Anyway, moving on. Let's explore the other rings here. No idea what's in the middle here. Uh, can't go into the northeast ring. The barracks, training, okay. Round about this way and we'll take a look at the other ring. Looks like there's also some doors over here in the western ring. So we've got Lady Anchi, we've got Lady Anchi, the barracks, and the main hall. What are the other rings, I wonder? Well, one of them is obviously more its Kree's ring. What's the remaining ring? All in, close the door, and potion of health. Okay. Sure, use a lockpick. Close it. What is in here? Mmm, potion of speed. Circle of fire. Yeah, take it. That's a very useful spell scroll, I've noticed. Okay, anything else over here? Stairway's down. Hmm, we'll investigate that later. West ring, courtyard, audience hall. Uh, this is just... The outer wall... Another area where guards are playing games. Okay. Let's see what the south ring is here. This might be where he is. Let's see. South ring. Moritz Cree's workshop. Alright. Let's go find Moritz Cree. He has to answer for what he did. Nothing there. Ogrim Tor is five rings of stone arranged in a circle. You instantly sense that this ring is occupied by the wizard Moritz Cree. Raw magic is heavy in the air. It is quiet. The rogue mages left no guards or other defenders. You smell smoke. And you think blood. Well, let's go inside and see if we can find him. Hmm, no way into the other rings. That exit is blocked off. Let's take a look around the outside before we go in. Sure, use a lockpick. Another wand of calling. You don't really need it, but take it. Charm fall, though, should be, could be useful. Alright. Let's see. Moritz Cree maintains a small magical workshop here. The walls are scorched, and several dead youths are lying on the floor. His apprentice is freshly killed. For some reason, he destroyed them as he passed through. The wizard is cornered in his lair, trapped, afraid, and ready to kill indiscriminately. That can't be good. 
Okay, let's see. Another arcane scroll. That can be sold later. Uh, chemical equipment. Guards! Charmed guards! Whoa! Immune? That's unexpected. Definitely unexpected. Okay. Uh, how about you... No, don't call a wolf. Ooh, you can call a hellhound. Okay. Yeah, call a hellhound instead. Okay. How about... Blade of the Wind? Missed him. And you... Blade Sweep. Okay, you can't actually damage them that way, but... I forgot you could do that. Alright, uh... Spirit Charge. They're immune. Great. A few steps forward, and Cone of Fire. Burn them all. Nice! Okay. Sucks that all these guards were wounded like this. Call of the winds. There we go. Get this guard killed. You'll have to use your ja your javelin instead. You can actually hurt him like that. Of course you can see her. She's right there. Come on. There's the javelin. Ooh, double attack. Didn't expect that to happen. Almost. And there we go. Okay then. Anything else back here that we could use? Chain scroll, silver necklace, uh, chemical equipment, and a speed burst scroll. Okay. There's a body back here of someone who died. Nothing but a robe. Also a body here that those charmed guards dealt with. Sage's rod, sold in a gold necklace. Anything in here? Arcane scroll. Alright. In here? Stairway down. We'll take that in a minute. Sure, use a lockpick. Looks like we got a runestone in here. Encanter's runestone. Could be useful. Arcane scroll. Alchemical equipment. Wand device. Did not mean to put that wand device there. We'll hold on to that. It could prove useful for him. Alright, let's go downstairs. Uh, light, light, please. Hmm. Some more here than I expected. Cane smoke, curing brew, mineral chemical equipment. This just goes around the back. Hmm. Can't go in there, can't go in here. This must go to other places underneath here. Actually investigate. You drink the water, you feel strange, you gain new insight. Huh. You gain a new insight. I did not expect that to happen. And I see a demon up there. Hmm. A little extra experience from that. Not something I expected, really. Coins. Can't go through that door. Alright. Demons! Time to kill them. Defender familiars. Oh, these won't be too bad. Though the frenzied imps they're adding in are annoying. Uh, you know what? I know it's probably a silly idea, but... Spirit charge. 
Perfect. Oh. And one of those, and one of those. All right. Oh, stop summoning the imps. You're gonna die here. Workers. Valiant effort, but... And you're dead. Okay. Oh, the imp disappeared. Interesting. Okay. This way further. Ah, there he is. Alright. Or it's free. Can we use any protective abilities? Eh, call the salamander and... Blessing of the horns and also... Triumphant. Turns out, Mort's Cree did not flee this fortress. He hid in his lair, gathering his notes and valuable supplies. He now stands in the middle of a ring of runes, several heavy satchels at his feet. When he sees you, he sneers. Too slow, Avedon. My cowardly lord forces me to retreat. I thought he must kill you. Instead, I return to my tower. You want to face me? You will do so in my place of power. What happened to your apprentices? I killed them. They wouldn't know about my great work. I didn't want to risk them telling you about it. No, you must visit me and see it firsthand. I command you to return with me to Avedon. Right now! Don't make me count to ten. More it's free snickers. <laughs> I am no errant child. I am a wizard and as fine as any of the pact. When you see what I have done, you will tremble and submit to me. You're going to wait in your tower for me to kill you? No, I'm going to wait in my tower for you to come and be devoured. What I have done will... Will I spoil the surprise? He laughs and mutters a word of power. Before he can stop him, he has vanished in a cloud of greasy blasted smoke which wafts through the gates to the north. There is no question this time. Moritz Cree has left his fortress. Now the chase begins. Well, great. So much for that. I thought we were going to fight him. Apparently not. Whoa! The moment you disturb the water, it evaporates into a cloud of mist. The mist floats out of the basin, then it forms a living thing. Okay, so... All that happened. Okay. Why can't I move? There we go. Now I can move it. And our shield all wore off, so that didn't... so that got lost. Please stop the corruption. Die, corrupted dead. There you go. Okay. Well, that happened. We should go and speak with, uh, the guy in charge. What the? Where did these come from? Okay. Let's kill these defenders. Why not? Here goes that one. Ooh, a level up for Janelle. Nice. Did he get stunned or something? Oh no! Wait. Oh no, Janelle just managed to go faster. Okay. Slows? No! Okay. Poison mist. So poison them. That'll help out a bit. Okay. And... Spirit charge. Excellent. Almost got these. Here goes that one. One more to kill. Okay, and... It is dead! Perfect. Okay. I feel like we should get more dexterity for Jason. Janelle! More endurance. Need you to be stronger. Okay. Ah, perfect. 
Salamander level 3. Lizard has the ability to summon a cloud of fire. Fantastic. Now I gotta work to get the cold drink. That's gonna take a while. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. We need to build up hardiness, beast focus, healing touch, blessing of thorns, nature mastery, and call salamander. We got a lot of building up to do. But we'll get it. Alright, back up we go. Now, I really do think we should go back and speak with, uh... What's his name? Why am I already forgetting? The guy in charge of this fortress. Karsta Arl. See if he has anything to say here. I'm also curious if there's anything down these stairs. Probably not much, but we'll take a look before the episode ends. Down this way. Uh, Lord Karsta Arl. Lord Karsta Arl sits in his... Okay. I have driven Mord's Cree out. That is good. I thank you for sparing my people from his retribution. Mord's Cree is not welcome in my lands. He will not find... He will find no succor here. That is all the aid I will give you in this matter. I am done with it. How did you become Lord of Dorlstead? My great-grandfather was a chieftain of Dorlstead. He was the first to adopt the glorious new ways. He laid the first stone of this mighty fortress with his own hands. Since then, my clan has passed down the rulership from father to son, and each of us has done all we can to bring safety to our stead. That is not the way of our people. True leaders earn their power. It is not just given. Who decided that you would follow your father as lord? My father did. Some objected. He buried their heads in our gardens. They still feed my lady's plants. This is the way of Camaria. How does the stead feel about you having power? Why should I concern myself about that? Does Avedon worry about the carping of every powerless nothing who objects to its rules? These are the ways of Camaria, and you don't need to concern yourself with them. If those who oppose me were strong enough to unseat me, they would do so. If not, they do not deserve this throne. Did Avedon approve of you taking power? Avedon did not notice or care. As long as its rules are obeyed, it doesn't care who is in charge, or what we do, or who we punish about, or how we punish them. I care. Everyone is allowed their hobbies, their eccentricities. You might care, but Redbeard does not. What else do you need? I want to know more about Dorlstead. We are one of the many steads in Camaria, all butting up against each other, all building stone keeps and fighting and shedding blood for the same land. I do all I can to keep Dorlstead safe and strong. It is my sworn duty to my people. That is why I kept Moritz Cree with me and ignored his shortcomings. Do the other steads threaten you? Of course. It is the way of Camaria. If I ever show weakness, if I ever fell, their raiders will pour into our woods. They will slaughter the men, and then... Well, it will be ugly. My rule is harsh, I admit, but I do all I can to avoid that fate. How did Moritz Cree help you? Camaria has shamans, and they are useful. They have their little tricks learned in the hedges. With great effort, Janelle manages to hold her tongue. But mages that call fire and lightning from the skies, they are true power. Moritz Cree was a great aid to us. It is said that he must be taken. Sad that he must be taken. How do you defend yourself from the other steads? By attacking them. If they are weak, if they are losing their lands, if their warriors have been slain, they cannot attack us. When I lead our raiders to take their land, they are less able to threaten us. And are you at war now? Of course. In Camaria, the war never ends. It keeps us strong. And should the pact ever weaken and fall, we will be ready to take our place as a true t power. I hope I live to see the day. I still need to hunt down Mord's Cree. I have released him to you. He is no longer welcome here. What happens now is between him and Avedon. I am not involved. Why was Mord's Cree creating those monstrosities? I don't understand the ways of wizards. The practice of the art can leave them unhinged. And you really knew nothing of what Mord's Cree was doing. He grows flushed, but he holds his temper. You accuse me of what in the eyes of Avedon is a serious crime. I knew nothing of what he was doing in his tower. That is a lie, of course. He knew something. But how much? Where might I find the wizard? If he has fled our lands, you may never find him. However, if he is still near, you will find him in his tower in the door of the woods. He might be foolish enough to take a stand there, or he might be delayed there while he gathers his treasures and tomes. I will require your assistance. 
I will send none of my warriors into the Tower of an Angry Wizard. Complain to Avedon if you wish. This decision is final. Very well, then. Before we leave, one or two th things left to look at. First, the stairs under here. I doubt we can explore very much under here. Most likely just the just under the ring here. I would not be surprised. Okay, doesn't look like there's very much here. Looks like this is mainly his storage rooms. Up, oh, rats. Alright, easily killed. In fact, you know what? Spirit charge again. Wow, that was surprisingly powerful. Killed them all. Okay. Nah, we've used enough lockpicks for now. Save them. Probably nothing of note there. And yeah, this has been. There's more stairs down? How deep does this go? Okay, this is, okay, this is their water stores. Huge natural chambers dominated by a black, clear pool of water. It is both an emergency reservoir and a quiet retreat for residents of the fort. As you get close to the wall here, you think you hear something. You lean closer. Sounds like scratching. You realize what you are hearing, but before you can back away, the wall rocks fall away from the wall, revealing a low tunnel. Then a cloud of foul gas billows out. You start to gasp and choke. Rats. More rats. And they're coming from behind us, too. Warped Rattling. Okay. Okay, you were able to cleave with that. And you were able to cleave. That works. Okay. Wait for them to come a bit closer. Alright, you, I think, can again spirit charge. There you go. Missed one of them, but wounded the others. Shouldn't be too hard to kill these. Ow! Ow! Stop doing that! And... there we go. Oh, Shima leveled up. Awesome. And there's a nest back here. Points, a lockpick... No, oh, Rune Greave gloves! Plus five armor, plus eight to blessings and curses you cause. I think we're going to sell those, interesting as they are. And that appears to be everything down here. And there's someone we need to talk to. You know, it's nice to see that a fortress actually has the water and food stores that are needed in case of a siege, but I feel like this is a bad place to put it in. Sure, you have it, and it's good to have it, but the, but the main entrance to get to them is right under the front hall of the fort. I mean, the other rings, it's a good idea. You can ha you have the barracks all the way in the... Well, I don't know. Now that I look at this, I don't think this is really that well built. The wizard's workshop being close, I suppose it makes sense. If need be, and someone bursts into the main hall, the wizard can run to the front. But the barracks so far away, they'd have to charge through his wife's grove in order to get to the main hall and defend things. Which could cause a lar which could cause a delay. Plus, if they take the main hall, but you're able to uh, block off the other uh, rings, well, then you'd still have another problem, because all your supplies are in here. I mean, I did see gates to get to there from other places, but still. Does not seem like a good idea. Oh, Shima. Uh, yeah, more, in more endurance, and... That would actually be a good idea now that I think about it. Okay, you've got that chance of... Oh, that must be why you did that. Okay. Alright, uh, one point in blade training and healing focus. Then we'll be able to put a point into earth discipline. I think that works. Alright, and one more quick thing. I've said going slightly longer. You had something you wanted to say. Why did you want to see me? 
Uh, why are you evaluating me? A test. I am interested. Well, Lord Coster Arl asked a favor of me. There's a flock of bats roaming the woods to the north. Strange creatures who drain the life from those they attack. He asked me to slay them. I tracked them and I found where they are. It is a place I am forbidden to go. If you can slay them, I will give you a token of my respect. Where are they? They nest in the hills just beyond Mort's Grease Tower. I have been forbidden to go there by Karstar. I asked and was refused. You, however, can go there whether he allows it or not. Are they dangerous? Oh, very dangerous. Maybe even lethal. I feel terrible about sending a hand of Abaddon into such danger. Sure you do. Well, we'll investigate that in the next episode, because this one's gone on long enough. Next episode, we'll go investigate the area around the tower. Till then, I'm Trustic44, that is Jason, Shima, and Janelle. This has been an Avidon Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.